Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. If you haven't already seen, we have these new TBM patch hats and they're super killer. Anyways, back to today's video, but I wanted to plug these real quick before we get started. All right, today's topic is on where in relation to uh, the rotor or axle your caliper is mounted. Uh, it's often discussed, we get a lot of questions about this and actually we got a question about it today. So I figured what better Tech Tip Tuesday than to cover this and uh, finally put the questions and uh, all the myths to rest. So 100% a brake caliper does not care where it's positioned on the actual rotor itself in relation to the car. There's no advantageous way of position it to have it do better braking than in another area on the, uh, on the actual rotor itself. The only thing that we care about is that the bleeder is in the highest position on the actual caliper. This will allow you to bleed it easier and to make sure that there's no air in the system. Of course, you can always unbolt the caliper and rotate it up and bleed it. Uh, but if you're positioning a caliper, um, you always want, you know, for simplicity's sake, to go ahead and just put the bleeder facing towards the top. That's why when we build calipers, we build them in pairs. One has the fitting on the left, one has the fitting on the right and the other one has a bleeder on the left and, other, and the other one has a bleeder on the right. For the same reason that the caliper doesn't care where it's positioned, we name and number our brackets dash one and dash two. The reason why we do that is because we don't want you to think that it needs to go on the left or right side of the car, especially on rear ends. Sometimes it's more advantageous to rotate where the caliper's facing forward or up or down. Rear end bracketry, especially as you get into complex aftermarket stuff, will tend to get in the way. Even some of the, the factory style uh, bracketry will get right in the way of where like, say a line will go in or a bleeder or whatever. If you have like a symmetrical pattern style bracket, uh, you can just turn them all this way or this way. Otherwise you can just flip them from side to side and that'll give you the position and the clearance that you need so that you're not trying to come up with goofy fittings or route things in a way that's just less than advantageous. Don't be afraid to use that tool at your disposal. As far as mounting uh, front calipers, left or right, sometimes that's able to be done, sometimes it's not. Just depends what type of spindle you have on your vehicle. But again, make sure that bleeder is in the 12 o'clock position. It's gonna make your life a lot easier when bleeding breaks and uh, a lot more accessible and a lot quicker service as far as bleeding goes. Nobody wants to have to unbolt the caliper, drop all the shims on the ground, move it to bleed it. It's just easier if it's that way correct from the beginning. But you have a lot of tools at your disposal now you know that you can actually position that caliper anywhere on the rotor as long as it fits. It's just that in terms of bleeding, it just might be easier to have that bleeder pointed straight up and down. Now, if you're moving a caliper on the bottom, you're gonna have to move the caliper to bleed it either way. Um, of course, if you're bleeding a caliper, you wanna make sure it's still on the rotor, you just can just slide it around. So that's why we use uh, a lot of times flexible hoses from the end of the uh, connection to the actual caliper itself. So there you have it, guys. No need to get worried about where your caliper is positioned. Anywhere works. There's no position that's more advantageous from a stopping standpoint. So don't feel like you're cutting yourself short there. Go ahead and use the brackets in their orientations to get yourself the most advantageous mounting. And hopefully you enjoyed this tech tip. Next week, we'll be back with another tech tip. Remember, our ideas come from you guys. So drop them in the comments section below. That's where we get all our ideas. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.